Hello all, welcome to our channel Lingua and Literature. Today's topic is drama. Before getting to know what is drama, what are the types of drama, let's see where does the word drama comes from. The word drama comes from the Greek verb dran, which means to do. To do in the sense and the action, the performance, right? Thus, this is the origin of the word drama. So now let's see about what is drama. Drama in the sense we all know it's a kind of literature where different kind of stories were performed on the stage to an audience. Generally, we all know drama is the printed text of a play, but the word theatre refers to the actual production of the text on the stage. So, in theatre, each and every performance takes place on the stage. Thus, it involves lightning, scenery, music, atmosphere, costumes, etc. Okay, now let's see about drama's origin. Drama, no, it is deeply rooted in the religious predisposition of mankind. Ancient dramas like Greek and Roman were mostly concerned with the religious ceremonials of people. It was the religious element that results into drama's development. Common people know they couldn't understand the meaning of most of the Bible as it was written in the Latin language. In order to teach the meaning of Bible to the common people, the clergyman decided to find many new methods of teaching. At last, they found a new method that is called drama. All the performers started to perform the stories of the gospel in a dumb show. In the next stage, each and every actors started to spoke and act their parts very well. The clerics wrote many special plays that was initially written in Latin language and later in the vernacular French. Thus, all these early plays were known as mysteries or miracles. The very word mystery shows its ecclesiastical origin. Since the word comes from the French word mystery, derived from the word ministry because the clergy who was also known as the ministerium or ministry ecclesia themselves depart in this place. Mystery was applied to scripture narrative while miracles or plays dealing with incidents in the lives of saints and martyrs. The history of drama is deeply rooted in the lay and religious annals of history. The drama appeals to two instincts. The one is the craving for amusement and the other one is the desire for improvement. This twofold appeal accounts for the complex origin of the drama and enables us to differentiate the lay from the sacred element. Now let's see drama as entertainment. The most important entertainment of the Middle Ages, however, was supplied by the pageants and the May games and by the mysteries and miracles of the church. Roughly speaking, we may say that the juggling and clowning heralded the coming of farce and comedy. The pageants anticipated the historical drama, while in the May games we have the foretaste of mask and pastoral plays which was so popular in the Elizabethan age. Next, let's see about drama that took place inside the church. Drama is obviously inherent in the very ritual of the church. And the mass itself was factor in the dramatic development. The season of the year suggested the subject matter of play. That is, Christmas, Easter and the stories derived from the Bible called mysteries. And of course, we already know that stories from the lives of the saints called miracle plays. Early in the Middle Ages, the clergy celebrated holy days, Christmas, Easter, etc. by playing the scenes from the lives of Jesus Christ. The first positive stage in the development of drama is marked by the performance of these stories in the church. The second stage is reached when the play emerges from the church into the marketplace. This was effected when the guilds were interested with the performance in the 14th century. It was customary for each craftsman to represent a play according to its particular tree. The work was very seriously taken by the guilds. Lack of confidence and competence and unpunctuality being met by heavy fines. The third stage is the rise of the morality plays. In this stage, 
the mystery and miracle play gave rise to the morality and interlude. In the miracle and mystery plays, serious and comic elements were interwoven. The morality were frankly detected and the characters know they typified certain qualities, example sin, grace, repentance. And the interlude aimed merely at amusement. Every man and four bees of hay would have best examples in this regard. Next, let's see about morality play which began to be acted in the ruin of Henry VI and like the miracle plays, it continued to flourish until the beginning of Elizabeth's ruin. The morality, as we have said, is a drama in which the characters are allegorical, symbolical or abstract. The allegorical characters to be found in some of the early miracle plays of their importance to religious sources. They are not essential to the story. One of the earliest morality plays was The Castle of Perseverance, a drama of the old faith. The spiritual progress of mankind from the day of his birth to the day of judgment is set forth in this drama. The moralities with their allegorical characters led to greater attention being paid to the plot whilst gradually the abstract personification began to emerge into real people with individual idiosyncrasies. The moralities, like the miracles, were adapted to the audience. Comic scenes were introduced to relieve the seriousness of these medieval problem plays. The wise, a character peculiar to the morality, was allowed to enter between the scenes and amuse the people with the character. A number of plays exist in which the transition stages of the morality can be plainly discerned. Comedy and morality in Tom Tyler and his wife, tragedy and morality in King Compizes and Appears and Virginia, history and morality in Bale's King Johan. At last, now we are going to see about the interludes. The interludes dealing with the old faith gave place to others that set forth the teaching of Reformation. For example, Hyde's Corner, Lusty Taventress, New Custom, etc. New learning, nature of the four elements, the trial of treasure, etc. That's all about today's topic. To get updates, please subscribe to our channel Lingo and Literature. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.